Hey, hey, Dr. K here with The Learning Board. Today we're going to be going over a couple of different things. One are the four corners of colostrum. But then we're going to pull out a couple of different things out of those corners, and we're going to show you how it has an effect on every man, woman, and child in the world. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. When you look at colostrum, like I said, there are four corners. Now bear with me, I'm not an artist, but if that looks like a diamond to you, at the top of that diamond put IGF-1 superfamily. You see there are 87 different growth proteins that make up this superfamily. IGF-1 happens to be the captain of the ship. It is more anabolic than steroids. It also has to be in your body at circulating levels to help you shrink down. We're going to show that over time with me in the new, uh, in the new Inch Loss program, 6 Series. This is one factor of it. You've heard of this. You may not have heard of IGF-1, but you've heard of a synthetic form called HGH. It's made up of IGF-1 and growth hormone. Well, that's a synthetic. We don't want to deal with synthetics. We want all natural. We want the best source that we can possibly get. It's not this. It's the IGF-1 superfamily naturally occurring within colostrum. But you want to make sure that you get true colostrum. Down here, you have immune factors. 95 plus of those. If we take IGF-1 and thymosin alpha and beta, or thymulin, we combine them together through colostrum, okay, because this has actually been done at Cornell. What we have proven is it has a dramatic impact on your immune system. We'll get into that in just a second. Over here, you have the essential factors. Things like essential fatty acids, building blocks for cognitive functionality, brain functionality. Essential amino acids, building blocks for soft tissue. Essential glyconutrients. These literally are the master cell-to-cell -cell communicators telling ourselves what, when, where, why, and how to do something. These were just found in 1995. They're all, they're all here. Then you have the basics, okay? Vitamins, minerals, enzymes. I always get the question, do I need a multivitamin? Do I need to spend that extra money if I'm taking a, source of, a true source of colostrum and at the right quantity? The answer is no, you don't. But there's one other thing, metabolic factors. There's a substance in here that Dr. Oz on Oprah, one of the best-selling books he's ever put out was on a substance called leptin. Well, I was one of the first researchers to trigger the leptin factor naturally. And what's fun about it is, it's all tied right here, right into this whole food, as long as you keep it intact. Now, like I said, we're going to take a couple of these and we're going to pull them out. Remember when uh, you've been around babies or you've had babies, there's their, there's their head, there's their bottom, they're tiny, their chest cavity is about the size of my fist. Now, like I said, I'm not an artist, but... This is supposed to be a rendition of a baby. In that baby's chest cavity is a gland called the thymus gland. Now it's the seat of our entire immune system. It directs both offensive and defensive mechanisms to keep us healthy. What's interesting about it is when we were first born, it's about the size of a small navel orange. By the time you are 45, it shrunk to the size of a pea. By the time you are 55, it has shrunk to nothing more than a little strand of tissue with interconnected fat no longer functional. So the question that I pose to you is this. If you have a thymus gland, which is the seat of our immune system, in these size ranges, do you think you have the same functionality as you did when you were younger? The answer has to be a resounding no, not at all. However, with these three factors, IGF-1, thymus and alpha, thymus and beta, this was done at Cornell what they sh and with colostrum. What they showed is they can actually regrow that to a normal functional state. Fascinating stuff, especially if you have anybody who suffers from an underactive or an overactive immune system. As a matter of fact, one of the factors right here is a substance called proline-rich polypeptides. Keep this one in mind because we're about to release a liquid that will knock your socks off if you have any kind of an autoimmune scenario going on. So, 
We've learned a little bit about the four corners of colostrum. We learned a little bit about how colostrum can help with the immune system. Things like diabetes, lupus, Crohn's, diverticulitis, ITP disease, uh, heart disease, all kinds of fun stuff can be benefited here. Arthritis, whatever the case may be. Now, but you got to have true colostrum. So I tell people all the time, don't trust me. I love that statement. Don't trust me, but don't trust them either. Always ask, ask, ask. Can you provide third-party validation and third-party testing? If they can't provide that to you, run away. You're taking a risk with your health and your wealth, with your money as well. We can provide both. As a matter of fact, we'll send you documentation to that effect. So remember, always ask, third-party validation, third-party testing. What I mean by third-party testing, ask an FDA lab, go out in the world someplace. I'm not going to tell you who, what, when, or anything. Go out and find our product grab it, buy it, test it. That's what we release to you. So thanks for joining me, Dr. K with the training board, and we'll talk to you later.